Today I'm going to be working on day 13 of the Junk Journal January Challenge and the prompt for today's junk journal with me is Garden. Hey, it's Meg. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are excited for today's prompt. I love any kind of nature themed prompt and Garden is always such an interesting one because Obviously, where I am, we're in the Northern Hemisphere and we're very much in the winter times. So in terms of garden, there isn't like a huge amount of um, inspiration outside. It's very uh, grey and um, bland at the moment, to be honest. Um, I mean, there's obviously some evergreens, but um, there's not like the, the flowers and, and such that if you are in the Southern Hemisphere, you're obviously in summer. So I wanted to use this gardening book to kind of look forward to some of the garden um, related things that I'm looking forward to this year and just to bring some colour to my journal. I kind of did a bit of a more relaxed um, collage page and really a lot more, I guess I would call it like cut and paste style because I was using some cutouts from this book but I also had a tag from a hyacinth that I'd bought that um, was a really lovely pink colour so I thought that it would uh, look really nice on the page and it had a little illustration on it as well so you'll see where I brought that in as well for the more sort of junk journaling aspect um, of using just everyday bits um, that I come across and whilst I was thinking about what to do on this page as well I did actually bring out I've got in my traveller's notebook it's a well I'm calling it a garden journal. Um, it's something I want to use to document the things that I'm starting to plan in my new garden and also to make some plans of the things that I want to sow and grow this year. So I'm really excited to have um, my own space this kind of spring and summer. So um, I want to start planning out how I'm going to um, use that space, you know, maybe to grow some flowers, to um, have some evergreens and like shrubs and things as well um, it's going to be very much a uh, yarden um, if you will like a, like a yard um, garden I've got quite a good space but there's no um, there's no grass or anything like that which I mean is great it's really low maintenance um, from that perspective but um, it does mean that I'm gonna have to get a bit creative with kind of the the pots and things that I use I might get some uh, little stands you can get you know the shelves where you can kind of stack the pots um, but yeah I'm really excited to start setting up my garden um, and who knows maybe I'll even include some little clips in some videos because I was thinking about um, the studio uh, vlog that I'm still um, editing um, I took so many different bits of footage for that um, so I'm looking forward to doing kind of the the big reveal of that space but also sharing maybe some little tidbits of um, the the garden setup as well. I don't know um, if that's something that you'd be interested in, but I might um, share that kind of within maybe a studio vlog style um, video and just sort of bits of, um, I don't know, like the ways that I'm creative in everyday life as well, because I feel like there's still inspiration that I draw from like gardening and things you know with the colors of the flowers and um just the kind of the whole process of um hoping that things actually grow and you know keeping it alive but um you know i might do some like pressed flowers for my journals i think that would be really pretty um and even just having um some cut flowers that i can bring into um, you know the home with um, in a vase and be able to maybe do some studies of like painting them and things like that I'd really love to do um, some more um, actual like art um, things with with paints and, and watercolors and whatnot so I'm looking forward to being actually able to kind of draw from the things that are around me as well so that's kind of what I was thinking about whilst I was putting this page together
I think I really like the way that the layout of this page came together and the colours that I used but you'll see in a moment that I end up sort of flicking through the previous pages of this journal because I felt like there was something missing and I couldn't quite figure out what it was because um, I'd gone for quite a like you know patchworky eclectic style really for the collage uh, something a little bit different that I've been doing a lot throughout this journal um, that's slightly different to maybe what I do normally and I really loved the text as well that I had used on the page and I realised that I wanted something that added some more texture and dimension almost to the page so what I ended up doing was bringing in some paint to this page just um, a bit of abstract uh, mark making so I used this pink blush colour here to just add some uh, little marks in some of the gaps that I felt that were on the page so kind of helping the um, composition really here because the the way that I had the sort of rigid lines um, running from the the border of the page um, meant that it felt a little bit um, too rigid so I just sort of used the paint across those and I felt like that kind of helped it to um, blend together especially with the paint running across the middle of the page there as well it sort of brought the two together and then I also used some stamping here um, just with a portion of this stamp and again not stamping too precisely or anything just to add some um, a bit of interest a bit of uh, something going on um, that made it feel not quite so um, rigid and, and stiff almost with the collage just to kind of soften everything a bit um, and then that was pretty much everything I did for this page so thank you as always for joining me for this junk journal with me I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys